Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames uploading on Star Flames TV Rewinds. So guys, in this video we, we're gonna talk about Nick Cannon because many of um, Wild and Out fans were concerned if Nick Cannon was about to be cancelled after Nick Cannon basically said that Kyrie Irving was not being anti-Semitic. Um, Nick Cannon was on um eight not to eight or not to eight podcast when he was asked the question about Kyrie Irving and Nick Cannon, you know, stood his ground and said Kyrie Irving was not anti-Semitic and there's absolutely no way that Kyrie Irving could be anti-Semitic and Kyrie Irving even explained himself. Let me tell you something, Nick Cannon did a damn good job. But guess what? I'm going to play that clip for you guys. Then I'll get back with the rest of my commentary. I can wholeheartedly say I know Kyrie Irving is not anti-Semitic. When given the chance to say, are you anti-Semitic or not? He didn't say, no, I'm not anti-Semitic. Right. At the press conference, tell us about that movie. Why he did, he said, stop dehumanizing me. And the movie is saying white Jews invented the Holocaust and six million Jews didn't get killed. Okay, I, I know that isn't right. Right. Because there's a gigantic historical record. Jewish people know when you dehumanize us this way, we know what's around the corner. So in that same statement as those are the tropes that dehumanize Jewish people, the same buck breaking. What's that? I don't really know what that means, to be perfectly honest. The slave masters would bring the buck, the one that gets out of line. So all the other slaves would see lash after lash, show them the power to set an example. This is what you must do to fall in line. So when we see the six things that Kyrie must do to get his job back, right. that's dehumanizing. Well done, Nick Cannon. And today we're hearing that um, Kyrie Irving had a meeting with the NBA commissioner, which seems, well, not seems, they're definitely having a change of heart because um, Nick Cannon basically said, Kyrie Irving isn't anti-Semitic. Candace Owens also said Kyrie Irving could not be anti-Semitic. And you know what is so funny? Candace Owens said the same exact things that I've been saying. As like people, we will always be in search of our true identity. So is it that each time someone um, black searches for their identi identity, talk about it or shares it, they will be canceled and i think that this is what is creating the effect of change as it relates to kyrie irving being canceled now on that note i want to talk about mr kanye west because i want to know when does canceling kanye west end? because we have people coming from kanye's school talking about kanye's behavior and kanye west kept going irrespective of the fact that he realized that he was about to lose everything and i'm saying to myself what well, these people knew who kanye west is was and is before they attended kanye's school so why is it that they wanted kanye west to change and also as kanye west told us that Ari Emanuel is about to do a lot to him. He's getting people, he's rounding up people to do, you know, stuff. Um, you know, just paraphrasing what Kanye West said. And I believe that Kanye West is right because when you look at people coming out to, you know, say stuff. I mean, Kanye West is already canceled. Let the man be at peace and let him be able to move on with his life. It's as though these people will not stop until Kanye West does not exist on the planet anymore. And I think that we all should rally our efforts together just the same, just like what we did for um, Kyrie Irving. I know that with Kanye West, it's a bit different because, you know, Kanye used words and some people say he was anti-Semitic. Some people say he's not anti-Semitic. But the fact is that whether Kanye West was anti-Semitic or not, Kanye apologized on several occasions and it seems as though his apology is not enough. And I think that there should be a limit to how an individual is cancelled and what happens going forward. Kanye West deserves the respect to be treated like a human being and people need to stop dehumanizing Kanye West. Let him be. Give him the respect of moving on. So that's all I want to share in this video with you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. While you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care. And remember, if you haven't subscribed as yet, be sure to go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay blessed. See you all next time.
Bye, guys.